if it works for you. Uh, we're, we're the uh, Bloomberg Library Committee is not only with amazing web vision and um, working with Christy Jarvis and everything else, but we are also um, actually a physical site. You should all know about us on the fifth floor. And um, two new things that I wanna make sure you realize is that we've got two shelves now that are beautifully displayed with the books our faculty have written. Uh, and today we just got a copy of Joe Hatch's Pony Express book and it will be put on uh, one of these shelves in the Bloomberg Library. If your book is not on here, we want a copy of your book so we can show when we have residents coming through, uh, uh, people who are uh, looking for fellowships and residencies that we can show what Moran faculty are already doing. The other thing is we've started a little Moran Museum on a couple of our shelves. We've g received some donations and when people hear about a Shiat tenometer, we wanna be able to show what that actually looked like. Um, now, the Bloomberg Library is not just the physical site, although we encourage you to visit the library itself. We also want you to realize that we have lots of other resources on the Bloomberg site uh, web. Uh, first, we have the vision resources, which point to um, the web vision as well as novel. We also have um, a site that you can go to and see all the articles that have been written by the Moran faculty. It's an up to the second PubMed search so that you can actually see every article a Moran faculty have written in the last month. Um, and uh, we also have the uh, Moran Virtual Educational Center. And I wanna thank everyone who's donated their lectures that they've given the residents. This is a partially an ACGME requirement that we have a way for our residents to access these lectures. This is an intranet, so a password is required to enter into this site. It's not a hard password, and we give it to our faculty and residents and fellows, uh, but this is where the homepage of this Moran Virtual Educational Center is. And you'll notice across the top that, you'll, that you can search by authors. We've also um, uh, filed it by the basic um, curriculum, the BCSC series from ophthalmology from AAO. We filed it by lectures. We filed it by grand rounds. We filed it by conferences. We have a search uh, part and you can submit to it. Um, this, for example, is a screen page shot of the number of authors. Every resident is listed as an author or uh, and you can see some people have donated a lot. Dr. Olson, for example, has six uh, items. Scott Larson gave us about eight. Uh, and we're, we're trying to gather more um, items from our authors. Then you can search it by topics. And this really helps with the residents when they have OCAPs, et cetera, that each book of the BCSC is represented. So uh, for example, if you go to neuro-ophthalmology, these are the chapters in the BCSC in neuro-ophthalmology and it tells you how many items of lectures uh, go with that particular chapter. And, um, and for the most part, we have um, a lecture at least for each uh, chapter. If you click on, let's say, pupil, you can see that we've got uh, some resources from Grand Rounds, from didactic lectures, uh, and a conference uh, that's under the pupil abnormalities. Um, the lectures, we have over 15 to 20 pages of lectures. These are just the ones that held, were held in the first part of March that, were, uh, that have been uploaded. And uh, if you click on it, you'll go straight to that person's uh, lecture in a PDF format. Uh, we have got Grand Rounds almost up to date. The last Grand Rounds that was uh, posted was the personalized health care at the University of Utah on March 28th. So if you miss a Grand Rounds, this Grand Rounds will be posted as well. Uh, you can actually listen to the whole thing. Uh, I want to point out that we, you can access ophthalmology journals from our site as well. It just shows us what journals we have, over 100 uh, uh, ophthalmology uh, e-journals uh, that are available and you can access from the Bloomberg site. And then I want to mention the book plate program that's ongoing. This is a great way for you to honor a colleague, a friend, a family member, uh, or a, a great way for your patients to, you know, if they can't donate thousands of dollars to Moran, but they might be able to donate um, funding for a book. And we have this 
book plate program, and this has allowed us to purchase many books, uh, and all of you who donate a book uh, to this uh, will get a receipt for that donation to this book plate program. Um, I want to spend just the last two minutes because I want to have time for a couple questions, but uh, I want to tell you and remind you that there is the Neuro-Ophthalmology Virtual Education Library. This is a partnership between NANOS, the North American Neuro-Ophthalmology Society, the University of Utah Eccles Health Sciences Library, and I've been uh, in, uh, involved in the development of this library. Currently, we have all of these collections. I do want to point out a couple things. Uh, we have a patient portal, uh, you can see on the left here, uh, which actually has um, uh, sites for uh, patient handouts. They're all in about uh, five or six different languages. Uh, the Moran Eye Center has its own um, uh, series of collections as well. The Journal of Neuro-Ophthalmology is online for free with the one-year embargo. The Walsh and Hoyt textbook is uh, electronically available uh, in complete uh, PDF searchable format. Um, and you can download it as well. We have numerous videos. Many of them are how to use something, how to do something. So our new technicians that come on, if they don't know what an afferent pupillary defect is, you can easily access uh, these videos. Uh, we posted one video on YouTube, and uh, we've had 23,000 hits on how to use the direct ophthalmoscope. Um, we also have mobile uh, novels uh, right now that you can download to your your device, and um, we also have had uh, quite a few hits, visitors, and uh, have covered a lot of the globe except for a lot of Africa. So uh, with this, I'd like to open this up for any questions from, from all of you. I hope this gives you an idea of how Moran is involved not only in research, uh, but we are uh, becoming sort of informational go-to people and we're so glad that we can have some of the staff here to hear what we're doing so that you can help your faculty members uh, with some of the resources that we have here at Moran. Any questions? Okay, Brian. I hope you're gonna use all this. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I personally think that, you know, you've gotta know this these days, otherwise you're left behind, right? And um, I mean, this is really important to stay up on what current databases are out there for us to be using uh, to improve our research here at Moran. So, uh, thanks for coming.